Are you writing your first book? Here are eight things that your character might do if they're suffering from PTSD. When they wake up, they might think that they're somewhere else for a second. They have a hard time trusting others. They could have low self-esteem. In flashbacks or dreams, they could relive the event that caused the PTSD. They may drink too much or abuse other things just to experience something different. They can have random outbursts of anger. They may avoid certain people, places, or activities that remind them of the event. They could also suffer with a memory problem of things surrounding the event. Hope this helped and sparked an idea for your writing. Wait, if you're about to skip this video because your character doesn't have post-traumatic stress disorder, you're gonna wanna keep listening because this is important. We tend to think of PTSD as an extreme reaction to an extreme event like war, explosion, rape. That's not always the case. Too many newer writers write about characters going through varying levels of psychological trauma, but they never really tend to make this event cause psychological scarring that's gonna impact the character in their ability to reach their ultimate goal. And that's crucial. With actual PTSD, try to avoid telling us exactly what happened, too much backstory, especially at first. Most people with PTSD will avoid remembering at all costs. That's not to say they don't have nightmares or flashbacks. Use those to hint at what happened for suspense. Use foreshadowing to hint at possible triggers for even more tension. What are the symptoms when the character has an episode? What are the tells? How do they cope? And what will happen if they do get triggered? How will it impact the story? If it could potentially ruin everything, it's really going to raise the stakes and increase suspense. PTSD portrayals in media that I like based on my own experience with PTSD. Number one, Huey from The Boys. After Huey's girlfriend is killed right in front of him by a superhero hit and run, he begins to experience PTSD symptoms. In a convenience store, he sees an image of A-Train and begins to associate back to the accident. He hears ringing in his ears, he gets disoriented, and he falls back. I think this is a fantastic portrayal of my PTSD episodes. I think that scene is very accurate. Number two, Steven Universe. Steven Universe took more responsibility for realistic character mental health than almost any other action series. Steven is both physically and mentally changed by his trauma, and as a result, his gem begins to glow pink, a metaphor for the actual experience of PTSD. Pause to read a quote from Rebecca Sugar. In Rami, Dennis is a soldier from Iraq who converted to Islam. Dennis has PTSD from torturing and murdering innocent Muslim people. When anti-Muslim protesters come to the Sufi center, he has a panic attack, goes outside, and violently assaults them while blacked out. He was controlled with fear response, but is still head responsible. I love it. Dr. Sharf here. I want to talk with you today about trauma. I have dealt with PTSD, with post-traumatic stress disorder for decades, and there are three things that I do to help myself when I'm having PTSD symptoms. One is I get outside. Like right now it's raining, it doesn't matter. I get outside because it grounds me in the now. Second, I take my shoes off and I put my feet in the grass, in the earth, so again, I'm grounded here and now. And third, I take a deep breath, hold it, and release it slowly again so that I center myself where I am right now, not where the trauma happened years ago.
Writing tips, part two. How to write your characters with PTSD. I am not a medical professional, however, I have a lot of trauma, so I think I'm at least a little bit qualified to talk about this. For one, have it relate to the plot. Or at the very least, have it relate to your character arc. Don't just throw PTSD in there because it's ooh-woo quirky, because that's boring. You gotta give spice to your PTSD, no! Sorry, I'm losing it and I'm mentally gone. Flashes, these can be helpful to kind of communicate to the audience what is happening. Shira did this quite well in uh, season 5. Last of Us 2 also did PTSD quite well. I could go on for hours, but I think the most important tip would just be to do research on it, because we really don't need anything else misrepresenting mental illness.